welcome to the Odyssey of the Mammoth. My name is Scott Bennings, and I'll be accompanying you today as we venture back in time, back to the end of the last ice age. The lush vegetation covering these steps marks the beginning both of the Holocene and of the extinction of the Mammoth. Far from its herd, a young calf is spending some time by the river. The adorable creature is clueless of the danger it has walked into as it enjoys its time near the water. But nearby, trouble is approaching. The footage that we are looking at is a simulation of the world of 12,000 years ago. This powerful giant, capable of breaking most things in its way, is the woolly mammoth. Its species has existed for thousands of years, even before that era, but wasn't able to adapt and survive into a modern world. Hence, this isn't footage from a real camera, but a digital one. Seemingly attached to this particular female pachyderm, I can only hypothesize that we are about to follow her journey of survival and her inevitable demise to this cruel environment. But for the moment, there is another who is in much greater immediate danger. The young calf is fighting off some courageous hunters who have seen an opportunity to make a name for themselves. But its ingenuity is meaningless in the face of individual strained differences. Nevertheless, the baby mammoth is hurt and needs care. For animals in the wild, only time may heal all wounds. Or this cloudberry bush. Huh. This isn't historically or even scientifically. Regardless of the many wonderful plants and the great verdant scenery now appearing for the eyes of our duo, mammoths could not actually survive off this land. The warmer climates and expanding vegetation were a curse to the mammoth's way of life. It preferred the colder, previous ecosystem known as the Mammoth Step. These creatures might as well be currently staring into the fiery pits of hell itself. They will have to migrate. more pressing matter is at hand. It appears another ambush is about to befall or do. Let us silently observe how the older pachyderm protects her offspring, if at all. Though I admire their courage, attacking a supervised baby mammoth with nothing but axes was a very optimistic endeavor. I can only assume those mammoths are now silently celebrating their victory. Come on humans, don't give it to them so easily. 
because it appears it's time for another ambush already. Good luck, you man. Feel a fraudulent air of superiority emerging from the mammoth mother? Does she fancy herself to be superior to humans? I wouldn't voice that opinion out loud. Were I to be in her metaphorical shoes? I wouldn't taunt her. Because fate appears to have it out for her calf. There's more enemies waiting ahead on this trail. Yet, this would also offer a great opportunity for the mother to charge through them. Using encirclement tactics is definitely a smarter move. A huge stomp would do quick work of them though. If only this mammoth knew. Despite what prowesses they may be showing here, I assure you that mammoths did not cause the extinction of the human race. Now this is more like it. Spears, javelin, the throwing sticks. Decide to get rid of those pesky mammoths. It's not that I'm rooting against them per se. It's just that those humans have really given it their all to subdue these creatures. 
and they're being treated like throwaway jokes. Faces grunt in a hero's journey. Well, I'm not having it. Someone has to tell those mammoths how things really are. It's a cruel and unfair world, and the story is one that is bound to end up in tragedy. They are slaves to history and the torrential passage of time. And they really gotta get out of this place. I mean, it's trying to kill them every few seconds. No, but like, for real, what is this? It's crazy. That's not normal, right? I mean, what's happening? I'm sorry, <laughs> perhaps I was being a bit too gruesome there. I suppose one could envision a certain beauty to the way those mammoths refuse to give in, regardless of the difficulties ahead. But it is only because they are unaware of the many dangers that are bound to plague their voyage. For instance, this river here could be a cursed chasm of the deepest regrets. The mother might be fine, but the baby mammoth, they won't attempt to cross it like her. Oh, what a useless boy. That's definitely what she's thinking right now. I'm sure she would just leave him behind if that thing wasn't sticking to her like glue. Not like there's much of a point to bring him around. What good is he anyway? Thinks he's all that, just cause he's a little bit cute. Combat, another chance for a favorite dead weight to show off his absolute lack of utility. Go get them, baby mammoth. Don't feel too bad, humans. These violent creatures will go instinct in time. Though I suppose this was still mostly self-defense. And I suppose that adorable blob is doing its best avoiding most of the hits so far. But thankfully for them, this looks to be the way out of those inhospitable planes. Both the mammoth mother and the adorable munchkin here should be getting some peace and quiet soon. I suppose I must oblige that some congratulations are in order for making it this far. So yeah, good job. It appears we've jumped ahead to another part of their journey. Now if the previous death that was corrupted by heatwave and useless vegetation was bad, this is another level. 
Mammoths did not live neither in forest nor this close to the mountainside. But this is one last barrier that they'll have to somehow cross to get to the colder weather up north. Especially if they're planning to go to, uh, what was the name again? No, they, they wouldn't know about it anyway, so. Looks like there are humans here too. Let's see if those guys fare any better. Great job once again, humans. Though really I shouldn't be surprised at this point. But wow, this place is real pretty. And here on the left, we can see some traditional ancient human habitations, which are now, well, uh, abandoned. Here are some much less abandoned houses. Feels like a bunch of clown cars though. Yeah, really no other way to break those, huh? It's kinda satisfying to watch, honestly. You guys know humans used to push mammoths off of high hedges to hunt them? It was the best way to deal with those invincible beasts. Doesn't feel like those guys have caught on the line. Looks like our four-legged team has turned the fictional equally four-legged tables on their aggressors. Yeah, that's a lot of fire over there. Seems like the little one isn't coming to the flames. I'd bet anything those humans might use that against them somehow.
that's uh yeah that's how it could have ended back there i'll be honest i was picturing something a bit more cartoonishly amusing earlier but yeah this is uh, not that um oh did you know that elephants and mammoths are said to be capable of as many complex emotions as we humans get and we humans we can get attached to just about anything with a name so Perhaps we should give our duo some nicknames, since we've been following them for so long already. How about Mamum and Little Flunky? I've n uh, I've never been good at names. Another river. You know, I uh, almost drawing one as a kid. Rivers are crazy. Oh, that's uh, breathtaking. That explains the need for all the flames. <laughs> so many different drawings here. Oh, there's more people here as well. Looks like those are more equipped for war than for artistry, though. I uh, used to draw a lot as a kid, you know. I'd get in trouble if I rolled the walls, though. <laughs> I drew this elephant from a cartoon that I, I can't remember the name of to show it to my mom. <laughs> it had ears so big they dragged on the floor, and uh, but she was always uh, busy and. Uh, <laughs> This drawing, it reminds me of a... Uh, is that Wrangle Island? It looks like some sort of promised land. They all look so happy and... Uh, that's where... That's where Frankie and Mamu should go. Hey, uh, Mammoths. I apologize for my previous pessimism. I want to see you guys get there. And... I think you guys can do it too if you hurry. So, let's get you to Wrangle Island.
Here we are. Another jump ahead. Some cold air here at long last. I think we can hear the ocean close by as well. Not much longer now, I'm sure. I can feel it. This must be the way leading to Wrangell Island. Hmm. I can see a few more huts ahead. But chances are that these may be peaceful northern tribes. I don't foresee any more combat ahead. And I was wrong. Okay, well, too bad for them. Go get them, Mamam. Frankie and I are watching your back. Wow, that's a lot of humans. Are we getting closer to like an, an actual village? <laughs> Tempos in a single charge? That's a strike. How frustrating. We go here to deal with these and there's more coming out of those over there. These bipeds sure are pests. 